हेलो अस्सलाम वालेकुम आई एम योर प्रेजेंटर एंड होस्ट मोहम्मद इकबाल एंड यू आर वाचिंग माय यूट्यूब चैनल बायोग्राफीज सिमन बोलीवर 1783-1830 was a Venezuelan military and political leader who was instrumental in helping Latin American countries achieve independence from the Spanish Empire. During his lifetime, he helped countries such as Venezuela, Colombia, Ecuador, Peru, and Bolivia to achieve independence. Bolivar also helped lay the foundations of democracy in Latin America, serving as president from 1819 to 1830 of the Hispanic American Republic known as Gran Colombian. Simon Bolivar was born July 17, 1883 in Caracas, Venezuela to wealthy aristocratic parents in Venezuela. His parents died when he was young and he was largely brought up by his nurse, family friends and a series of instructors and educators. One One of the most influential of his teachers was Don Simon Rodriguez, who taught the young Bolivar about the ideals of liberty, enlightenment, and freedom. Bolivar became enamored of the ideals and vision of the American and French Revolution, which took part during his lifetime. Later, as president of Gran Colombia, he sought to imitate some of these democratic ideals and create a federation of Latin American states. In 1804. Bolivar was in Paris and witnessed the coronation of Napoleon. Bolivar was impressed and felt that the Latin America needed a similar strong leader. When he was 14, his mentor Rodriguez had to flee the country because he was under suspicion of plotting against the Spanish ruler. Bolivar entered military academy Milesius de Vargas where he developed a passion for military strategy in 1802 while he was in Madrid continuing his education he married Maria Rodriguez however shortly after they both returned to Venezuela she died from yellow fever Bolivar never remarried however he had a lover Manuela Sins with whom he maintained a close relationship in 1813 he was given his first military command in Tunja Colombia where he began a successful military campaign attempting to liberate Venezuela from Spanish force and restoring the Venezuelan Republic however his first exploration of the republic was short lived and in 1815 he was forced to flee to Jamaica where he narrowly avoided an attempt on his life Bolivar 1816 with the help of forces from Haiti Bolivar was able to land in Venezuela and he began a long campaign the admirable campaign to take back Venezuela from the Spanish His strategy was to first fight for independence in New Granada. When this was successfully completed, he was able to launch campaigns from this base to gain Venezuela and Ecuador their completely independence. Bolivar was hailed as the liberator. We have been ruled more by deceit than by force. and we have been degraded more by vice than by superstition slavery is the daughter of darkness an arrogant people is a blind instruments of its own destruction ambition and intrigue abuses the credulity and experience of man lacking all political economic and civic knowledge In 1821 his successful military campaigns enabled him to become the president of Gran Colombia a state covering several Latin American countries recently liberated from the Spanish he then proceeded to liberate Peru from the Spanish decisively beating the Spanish in 1824 in 1825 The Congress of Upper Peru was named the Republic of Bolivia after him. However, Bolivar's grand vision of a federation of Latin American Republic like the United States proved difficult to hold together. There were frequent resignations from different region and Bolivar was forced to take dictatorial power to hold the country together. However, increased the alienation of his political opponents. In 1828, he narrowly avoided an assassination attempt helped by his lover Manuela Sins when writing the Bolivian Constitution. He envisaged a long life presidency similar to British constitutional idea of a hereditary monarch. Bolivar was strongly anti-slavery despite slavery being an important part of the Venezuelan economy, but this lifelong presidential idea was unpopular within the Gran Colombian. In 1813 Bolivar resigned his presidency. He turned down offer to become permanent president, preferring to remain an ordinary citizen. Towards the end of that year He died painfully from tuberculosis.
preventing him from retiring to Europe. In his final proclamation to his people, he shared his hope for a greater union. Colombians, my last wish is for the happiness of the patria. If my death contributes to the end of the partisanship and the consolidation of the union, I shall be lowered in peace into my grave, quoted in Man of Glory, Simon Bolivar, 1939 by Thomas Stock.